let me first uh, write the definition of what is an RTD resistive temperature detector in short form this is written as RTD so basically uh, resistive temperature detectors are used to measure temperature now uh, as we know what is the definition of transducer a transducer is a device which converts any known electrical quantity into electrical quantity so a registered temperature detector converts temperature into an electrical signal which can be a voltage or current so it is used to measure temperature of an uh, device and how it converts uh, temperature into uh, volt voltage or uh, current so the basic principle let me first discuss what is the basic principle of RTD the basic principle of RTD base based on the fact that uh, the resistance resistance of a conductor changes with respect to temperature and we also know a conductor is a positive temperature coefficient device in the short form it is known as known as ptc now what we mean by positive temperature coefficient in positive temperature coefficient devices the resistance resistance of the device increases when temperature increases now why uh, resistance increases uh, uh, when temperature increases in conductor the reason being in conductor in any conductor current depends upon two factors one is number of free electrons and the second factor is on drift speed drift velocity now when temperature of conductor increases the thermal vibration vibration of freely electrons increases which will further increase the average number of collision average collision collisions will increase and because of these average collisions the drift speed the drift velocity will decreases hence as the drift velocity decreases it will decrease the overall conductivity of the of the conductor hence the resistivity resistivity of conductor increases so this is the basic principle of uh, an RTD the resistance increases whenever the temperature increases so let me draw it in uh, let me let me define one equation based on this this fact the resistance at temperature T is given as R naught 1 plus alpha delta T where RT is the temperature sorry resistance at temperature T R naught is the reference temperature sorry reference resistance at reference temperature alpha is temperature coefficient which is positive in case of conductor and delta T is the difference of the temperatures generally it is T2 minus T1 so that resistance RT is the resistance at temperature T2 R naught is the resistance at temperature T1 so this is the formula by which we can determine the resistance at temperature T when the temperature difference delta T alpha and R naught is given so now let us see what are the different materials 
by which we can we can make a rtd so the materials by the materials used in the construction of rtd are the first one is platinum platinum is is used in the temperature range of minus 200 to 850 degree centigrade the second material can be nickel which is used for temperature range from minus 80 to 300 degree centigrade and the third one is copper which is used for the temperature range of minus 200 to 260 degree centigrade now before going further let me just explain up you explain to you what is the construction basic construction of an rtd so this is a, a typical construction of an uh, rtd uh, there is a sensing element which is used to sense the temperature generally the sensing element is is copper nickel and platinum and the sheet is there to protect this device from any mechanical damage or contamination this load support is basically to support the lead connection connection leads which is which uh, usually connects to the outer uh, external circuit and these mount, mounting threads are used to connect this uh, rtd to any external device this is a typical construction of an rtd now let me draw a circuit by which a known temperature can be measured by using rtd so it based on the principle of a wheatstone bridge so let me draw a circuit first These are the arms of Wheatstone Bridge. There is a deflection meter connected to these arms. An external power supply is required because this is a passive transducer. So this is an external power supply. These are the resistance. Suppose this is R1, R2, R3. And in the fourth arm, we connect an RTD. RTD is connected to the fourth arm. Generally, this RTD is connected in the field, and this Wheatstone bridge is there in the control room. So, how temperature can be measured by using this circuit? When, whenever, uh, initially, when uh, there is no temperature applied to the RTD the bridge is in the bridge is in the balanced condition and there is a null deflection in the galvanometer whenever temperature is applied to the RTD when temperature is applied to the RTD the resistance of the temperature changes uh, generally it increases with respect to temperature in case of conductor the resistance of the RTD changes hence the balanced condition of this bridge will also change and uh, that will result in the deflection in the galvanometer. Now we can calibrate this meter to directly measure temperature change which, which causes the uh, change in the resistance. So this is how uh, we can measure temperature by using uh, RTD. Now uh, it, uh, the RTD should possess uh, uh, two characteristics. The first characteristics is the change in the resistance change in the resistance uh, per unit change in temperature per unit change in temperature should be very large and the second characteristics is the resistance of wire should have a continuous and stable relationship with the temperature The resistance of wire should have a continuous and stable relationship with temperature. Now, we if we look at this uh, second characteristics. Uh, we uh, Initially, we saw the relationship between the resistance and temperature is equal to 
R t is equal to R naught one plus alpha delta t. From this expression, if we calculate the value of this R t by R naught, it comes out to be one plus alpha delta t. That means this R t by R naught is proportional to uh, change in temperature delta t. So if we draw a, a graph which shows the characteristics, it shows the characteristics of this R t d. We are uh, determining this R t by R ratio, R t by R naught ratio with respect to temperature. This temperature in, in suppose in degree Kelvin, and if we draw this for uh, different materials, different materials which we can use to uh, make an R t d. If we use platinum, uh, this because this is uh, proportional to uh, temperature change. If we draw this graph. It, this graph comes out to be a straight line. Now this is this line is for platinum. For copper, copper this R t by R naught ratio is higher compared to this uh, platinum. This is for platinum. This graph is for copper, and we will get. Uh, Highest value of R T by R naught uh, for the same temperature in case of nickel. So, in case of nickel, we'll get highest R T by R naught ratio. So, this these are the characteristics of uh, uh, this R T D. Now, let us uh, see one a numerical problem, and we will finish this. And I have a numerical problem. Let 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 us solve this numerical problem. Now. In this problem, we have a platinum thermometer which has uh, which has a resistance of 100 ohm at 25 degrees centigrade, and we need to find a resistance at 65 degrees centigrade if uh, the temperature coefficient is given as 0 0.0392 per degree centigrade. And in the second part, temperature uh, needs to be calculated needs to be calculated uh, if the resistance is given as 150 ohm. So let us now solve this numerical problem so, so first of all what are the quantities given the quantities which are, which are given in this problem is resistance at 25 degrees centigrade so let let us assume this as r naught which is 100 ohm and it is given at temperature t1 which is equal to 25 degrees centigrade resistance at uh, 65 degree centigrade is needs to be determined so let us suppose this is t2 which is 65 degree centigrade and rt we need to calculate this value rt and one more quantity is given which is equals to temperature coefficient alpha 0 0.00392 per degree centigrade so in the first part we know what is the relationship between rt and temperature t which is r naught 1 plus alpha delta t delta t is the temperature difference which is equal to t2 minus t1 so it is equal to 65 minus 25 which is equal to 40 degree centigrade alpha is given so we can calculate we can calculate this value rt is equal to r naught which is 100 ohm 1 plus alpha is 0 0.00392 multiply by 40 which is delta t so this comes out as equals to 115.68 now we can see from this problem that initially the resistance was 100 ohm at temperature 25 degree centigrade. When we increase the temperature to 65 degree centigrade, now the resistance is also increased from 100 ohm to 115.68 ohm. Now in the second part, in the second part, RT is given, which is equal to 150 ohm, and we need to calculate the temperature at which uh, RT is 150 ohm. Again, we will use this formula. RT is equal to R naught 1 plus alpha delta T. In this case, RT is given as 150. R naught is again 100. 1 plus alpha. Alpha is again given. Let me put this value 0 0.0392. Multiply by T2. We need to require in this case we, T2. We need to calculate this value T2. T1 and T1 is again. Uh, 25 degree centigrade we can solve this equation uh, to get uh, this value t2 when we will solve this we'll get t2 is equals to 152.5 degree centigrade so this is the answer so we will finish this here
the next tutorial or in the next lecture we will see working principle and operation of other transducers thank you very much